Hey guys, welcome back to the Mini Institute Cigar Review. I'm Stu. Today we're going to review the Chillin' Moose Cigar. Now I know what you guys are thinking, going, Stu, where have you guys been? Well, it's been a very busy, busy, busy few weeks. Um, this is our hobby, and we just haven't had time to do anything, you know. Um, one of the things that's coming up that you guys should probably be aware of is Mini is actually going back to Utah in a few weeks. Um, by a few weeks, I mean he leaves a week from today. All right, he leaves at the end of the month to go back to Utah. He's getting married, so he's gonna go back to be with his sweetie and wish him the best of luck. Him and Amelia, they're wonderful, wonderful couple. Wish them the best of luck and can't wait to see them in a few months at their wedding. All right, but onto the chillin' moose, right? So, this is a Chilean Moose Cigar. My understanding is it is a mixed filler cigar. Um, it is by Foundry, I believe. Um, but I always liked it. I thought, hey, that's a cool name, Chilling Moose. And then I saw one one day and I was like, hey, that's a pretty cool rapper. So we were at a, uh, at a little cigar shop for our buddy G's uh, graduation few weeks ago and we're hanging out I walked in there and I saw that they had these they're like four bucks so we're gonna see what a four dollar cigar the chillin moose see how this goes okay today to cut I'm using the only cigar cutter that I have that I love and that I trust my wonderful Calibri easy cut it's a straight cut um, a lot of times I use my Zycar V cut, and I'll get, I'll do a review on all the cutters and stuff eventually. But right now, we're just gonna talk about that. So on a cold draw, which I normally don't do a cold draw, but when it's a you know mixed filler stick, I like to make sure that there's gonna be airflow. Um, there's a lot of airflow through this, so it means I gotta be control and watch my smoking, how quickly I smoke. But uh, on the cold draw, really strong herbal tea kind of a almost like a barnyard smell to it but like a really strong herbal or green tea a little bit of chocolate on there all right now I'm not using anything special today to cut and light my cigar and pairing it uh, I am pairing it with cherry coke not even real cherry coke it's Sam's Club cherry coke all right when you're done toasting you want to go through and blow through it. It's called purging. Um, it heats up the cherry primarily. It kind of gets all that burnt smoke out of the way. Alright. Blow through, then you light. It is important, especially on large ring gauge cigars like this. This is about a 60 ring gauge. It's important that you get well lit. Alright, now. Right off the bat, I get some earth. Um, kind of a leathery leathery taste it's very good so far all right I'm gonna smoke into this and like usual when we get down to about the band point I'll come back in and give you guys an update and my reviews and thoughts on this Alright guys, I'm at the band point now with the Chillin' Moose. Um, 
give you guys a little bit of update. First of all, this is a really big band, so I'm only about halfway through the cigar. Give you an update on it. The flavor profile has been fairly consistent. Nothing, nothing incredible. You know, nothing to write home about. Um, it was really smooth and kind of creamy at the beginning. Then it kind of got a little bit rough. About right about the beginning of the second third, it started to get a little bit rough. Um, the ashes actually stayed on pretty solidly. All right, it's yeah. I mean, it fell out a big chunk and a big chunk, which is actually kind of surprising. Um, but overall thoughts on this for a four dollar cigar. It's got great smoking output. It's got a nice, easy draw. On um, the flavors, you know, again, earth, leather, a little creaminess. Um, it's burnt flawlessly. I haven't had any issues with it at all as far as the burn goes. Uh, great burn time. I think I'm on my third episode of Parks and Rec, uh, which, by the way, I'm starting to love that show. Um, if you haven't watched it, check it out. A great show um, but uh, all right we're gonna take this band off and we're gonna see how that does and then I'm gonna give you guys my final rating on it okay so here the band now again it's a large band let's see if we can do this without getting any tobacco Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. So, overall, on this stick, it's at a very fair price point for what it is. It, this is not your special occasion cigar. This is not your get my friend into cigar cigars. This is your I want a daily smoker. What can I have? cigar okay um, and for 450 it's exactly what it is it's a great stick haven't had any issues with it um, very nice wrapper very nice draw all those things so my overall review on this I'm going to give this a solid 7. Solid 7 out of 10. Okay? Uh, the reason I'm going 7 out of 10, um, because it did that blend, did get a little bit harsh there, and I have a feeling that you aren't going to have necessarily have a consistent flavor profile from cigar to cigar. Um, great stick. All right? Uh, pretty much anything that I give over a five is going to be a good stick with worth your money. All right, uh, maybe. Yeah, probably. All right, but hey guys, if you've smoked this cigar, let me know what you think about it. All right. Also, tell me what are some of your favorite cigars? What would you like to see us review? Type them out in the comments. All right. We're gonna be reading those. We want to engage with you. We want to meet you guys. Like and share, guys. Please like and share. If you liked this video thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you want to have a suggestion, a helpful suggestion, not just being a jerk suggestion, if you want to have a helpful suggestion, leave it in the comments, okay? Follow me on Instagram at Smoked Stewie. Follow Minnie on Instagram at Smoked Minnie because, yeah, he copied me. Alright? But follow us on Instagram at Smoked Stewie and Smoked Minnie. Follow us on Facebook at the Minnie and Stew Cigar Review. Check out some of our other cigar reviewers out there, guys. Go check out Bob the Cigar Guy, Tim Swanson over at Cigars Daily. Check out um, Bradley and Dana over at TNT Cigars. All right. Let me know what you think of this cigar. Have a great day, guys.